Hey guys, GB from UB2 Gaming here and welcome to my non-spoiler review of Deadpool 2 the movie. Now I saw it last night and I gotta say overall I find it quite entertaining. It's very similar to the first film in that it has the same sort of sense of humour, uh, it makes a lot of references and inside jokes, it breaks the fourth wall constantly. It's a film that does not take itself seriously, so that's straight away the first positive. I mean, the jokes they made were really entertaining, so things like um, making jokes about the DC Universe, uh, making jokes about, you know, previous films that Ryan Rolls had been a part of, like uh, Green Lantern, like uh, X-Men Origins, the previous appearance of Deadpool, and um, I thought it was really funny the way that Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool, the film, they just didn't take themselves too seriously. They had no issues with just making fun out of themselves, making light-hearted jokes at other franchises and like I said, previous films that Ryan Reynolds had been a part of. It's very similar in sense of humour to the first film. So if you find the first film funny and entertaining, I think you'll enjoy the second film as well. Saying that, one difference between uh, the first film and the second film is obviously the new appearance of Cable. Cable is obviously uh, a really important character in the X-Men sort of universe. I'm not an expert in Cable, but my knowledge of him and my uh, appreciation for him comes from the X-Men anime, animated show from the 90s where, you know, it comes with this future that's uh, uh, broken down where Apocalypse has taken over and he's really quite dark and he's hundreds of years in the future. And for the most part, I think this film got him quite right. The appearance in particular, the way he uses really advanced technology, the way his character is quite dark and has a tragic sort of background, I thought that was done really well, like, uh, his look and feel was really quite good. But saying that, like I mentioned, um, my experiences of him is that he's someone coming from uh, a really devastated future where there's a big massive powerful enemy, Apocalypse, who's, you know, taking over the whole planet and I don't know, I just don't feel Cable in this film felt like he had this epic sort of purpose. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much about it, but it's not a future where Apocalypse has taken over. There is heart to the story in that uh, he's there to, you know, come back in time to save his family, but the enemy and foe just didn't really feel that big or powerful. Like, I don't know, I just couldn't get my head around that. Like, it, this film essentially sort of felt a little bit like Terminator Cable, coming back in time. A devastated future he wants to change the past in order to save the future but like with Terminator like with Cable in the X-Men X -Men, uh, animated show in the 90s it felt like it was more of a grand scale more of an epic you know trying to save the world trying to save the whole future type feel this was a little bit more grounded a little bit I guess more personal which I suppose is good in that it was really just about his wife and daughter that he was trying to save but I don't know I think it felt a little bit I don't know almost like Cable could have been saved for a bigger occasion. I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit harsh there, but personally I find it a little bit overwhelming. Overall, I did like him, like I said, his appearance, his abilities and things like that, but I find it a little bit underwhelming, so i got mixed feelings a little bit on Cable. Uh, another character who I thought they actually did really well was Vanessa, so that's uh, Deadpool's love interest in the film. I thought they expected explored their relationship relationship really well so they had a really good relationship it felt really real it felt really genuine you could feel the affection between them uh, the re how Vanessa's trying to make Deadpool better make him a better version of himself and not be this almost sort of psychotic killer almost because let's be honest Deadpool is quite a dark character he's quite ruthless and will just kill everyone and kill enemies and ask questions later if he even bothers at all and you see some of that in this film as well so I thought they did a really good job of exploring uh, Vanessa and uh, Deadpool's character so that was a pretty good uh, aspect of this film one thing however that I will immediately put down as a big negative of this film and it was the CGI and special effects it was really inconsistent some bits were quite decent quite reasonable none of it to be honest was great or spectacular but there were some scenes where it was atrocious the cgi and special effects were awful in a couple of scenes in particular one crash scene where um again not really going into much spoiler detail which characters were involved or anything but there's a bit where a car actually smashes into a petrol station and you know creates a big explosion and god it was awful it was so fake it looked awful it looked like 
I mean, the Matrix films, what came out well over a decade ago, almost 20 years ago, when I mean, the first one was, what, 1998, I think? So, yeah, 20 years ago. The Matrix films had much better special effects than some of the scenes of this film. It was really not good. Now, I know Deadpool isn't, you know, a big, massive, you know, Avengers-type box office smash, but the first film made a lot of money. I think it's done better than a lot of DC films. You'd think Sony and the producers of this film would have a bigger budget, would be able to at least make the CGI and special effects consistent and you know at a more higher level but it was really poor like, it was a big negative of this film that some of the CGI's I mean me and my friends who watch it we actually just looked at each other and it really was like wow this is so fake when it's that plain and obvious that a scene is completely fake not a good sign not a good sign at all and I touched on it a little bit earlier as well that I wasn't really a fan of the villain uh, again I don't want to spoil too much Cable's it's a bit of an antagonist in this film but there's also other hidden villains in this as well and never really felt that grand or that much of a threat and I know it's about the threat that he would grow to be but I don't know just did not find this character's powers and abilities that devastating um, I didn't, he, it, the character didn't feel like it's capable he's capable of uh, causing mass destruction or really taking over the world it's the problem I had like I said with Cable in that yes obviously he's there to save his family made it more personal which is good but never really had the epic grand scale so I don't know I'm not so really sure about in terms of the enemies and the overall plot of this film it felt a little bit underwhelming Saying that, like I said, the film is hilarious. There were some amazing cameos in this film that I will not spoil, but some of them are fantastic. Deadpool actually assembles a team together, the X-Force, and some of them are really cool cameos. When you find out who the Vanisher is, that really let out a laugh in the cinema. There was loads of scenes and cameos where people really laughed and really found it hilarious. Watch out for the Stan Lee cameo, by the way. To be honest, I actually missed it myself. It was only when one of my friends mentioned it afterwards. Oh, did you see Stan Lee? I was like, wait, what? What? No, actually I didn't. Who was it? Where was he? And then when he mentioned it, I was like, oh, right, yeah. you, you got to be a bit of a hawk to watch that one. But yeah, I mean, other great positive of this film is obviously Deadpool himself. I mean, hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Some of the scenes are so funny. It's incredibly some of it's over the top, some of it is a little bit on the vulgar side. That's why I would say, like, obviously humor is subjective. But if you like the humor of the first film, you'll like the humor of the second film. If you didn't like the first film, you're not going to like the second film. It's very similar. A lot of the humor is a bit dark, twisted. And some of it is really over the top. There's this amazing basic instinct type scene, which is unbelievably funny. The whole cinema was laughing, slash, oh my god, cover your eyes. It was really funny. But... I suppose the main part of this film, or what's been hyped in the film, is the Deadpool versus Cable face-off. And for the most part, I thought it was pretty good. The altercations they had, a couple of them, were really quite well done. It really felt... Um, there was a good balance. Because one thing I was worried about coming into this film is Deadpool's very sort of... He makes jokes at the expense of the enemy, a bit silly sometimes. It sometimes takes the gravity away out of the situation. Whereas Cable, like I said, is quite dark character coming from a really ble bleak horrible future i was worried about uh, cable not being able to just be taken seriously but i think they got the balance just about right there is obviously jokes that deadpool will make that sometimes takes the scene away from being dark but cable came across like he should be you know quite dark straight to the point efficient not really about you know making a lot of jokes and things like that so overall that part of it was pretty well i do think um, maybe they could have had more to it in terms of Deadpool and Cable. Again, I don't want to spoil the film, but like there's, like I said, there's uh, a greater enemy. And I don't know, I thought it was a bit too easy the way Cable and Deadpool sort of first had conflict. Their son sort of started to come together. It could have been done a lot better, I think. It, it felt a bit rushed in that aspect. I suppose the film is two hours, so they didn't you know, have the Avengers type uh, uh, time to build the storyline more. But... I gotta say overall I did enjoy the film. I will again summarize by saying if you like the first film, you'll like the second. I think this film was very similar in terms of style, humor and action of the first film. I liked it overall. There are a few problems there like I mentioned, but overall if I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it a solid seven or eight out of ten. It's a good film, maybe even very good. Not quite a great film, but 
overall I got my money's worth. I found it very entertaining. I would like to thank you again very much for listening and watching this video. If you did like it, obviously please do hit that like button. Leave a comment, let me know what you think about Deadpool, what you thought about this review. If you're enjoying this content, please hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell. Every subscriber is appreciated. Thank you very much for listening. GB from YouTube Gaming. This is goodbye.